Hey everyone, this is Dina, and today I'm going over top. I'm going to go over a couple of the Color Stay lip glosses and lipsticks that I have picked up at the drugstores. And the first one is the Max Factor. The color, hmm, it says 700. It doesn't say exactly what color it is. This is what it looks like. I'll show you what the first step looks like. It's a really pretty color, but it streaks. It streaks really bad on your lips. It dries really fast. And as you can see, can you see the color on that? So the color obviously comes off some. So I would not give this high ratings at all. I was not impressed. It streaked way too bad and you can't just keep reapplying the color. It was not good at all. Um, the gloss was pretty to go over top, but overall I, mean, I just didn't think it was worth trying again or even uh, recommend, recommending it to anyone. So the next one is the Revlon Color Stay Over Time. This is the Timeless Nude. This one's not too bad at all. Um, I guess you could, it could streak a little bit, but it really it more falls into the lines of the lips. So if you have a problem with that, maybe if you used a primer underneath, which I do not have, so I couldn't test that out. But the lip gloss was actually really nice to go over top. It's a little brush, clear, and it's a really conditioning lip gloss. It's, it's not too bad at all. It's nice. It doesn't stay on near as long as I think it should. But maybe I think about three to four hours, something like that, and that was overeating and things like that. Um, I think that the bad thing about it is like you can reapply the the gloss, the clear, but I think that just kind of defeats the purpose. I don't think that if it's color stay, it should stay on your lips, and you shouldn't have to worry about reapplying anything, whether it's the gloss or not. Okay. Um, the next one is the. L'Oreal Infallible, and this is the uh, the lip gloss. This is just the one step. I like this. This one doesn't fall in my in the lines of my lips. I think it's a pretty good one. I would recommend it. I like the idea that it's one step. Um, it's probably not near. It does have a doe foot, which I like that. I like the doe foots. Who is it? Um, is it Clinique or Lancome? I believe it's Lancome that has. Let's see if I can find. So, yeah, Lancome, the doe foots. So it's about the same size, pretty much exactly the same of the Lancome doe foot, um, which I think is still pretty nice. Some people don't like the doe foot. I've even heard some people say that it's cheap, and I'm like, well, Lancome has it, and they're not. I don't think they're considered cheap. So overall, the lip gloss, the one step, isn't too bad. I don't think it really lasts that long, honestly. I really didn't notice much, much more than regular lip gloss. Maybe an hour longer, if that really. So, but I think it's it's not bad. I think it may stay on. If you have a cheap lip gloss that you have to reapply every hour or so, this one's not too bad. I would say three hours long, maybe maybe five hours long if if you're not eating. Um, this one here actually says six hours. I really don't think it goes the full six hours though. So, it's all right though. I think it's not too bad. I'd probably buy it again if I saw a color that I really liked. Okay, oh, and the color of this is Barely Nude 815. So. And the next one was my favorite at first <laughs> until I went back um, and bought another one. So you'll see that in a minute. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick. And it comes in this really cute, look at that mirrored, cute. Um, really cute tube. <laughs> it reminds me of like a cigarette. Uh, cartridge thing I don't know I know I don't smoke but it just reminds me of this my mother used to smoke let's see the first step is oh no that's not it sorry <laughs> the first step is the lipstick and I used to own some of the the L'Oreal lip sticks that was only one step and it made you dry, your lips really dry and it would be dry all day. It'd be like a matte color, but it did stay on pretty good. So I do like L'Oreal stuff. This is pretty good. It is a really pretty color. The only downfall that I found about it was that it was shimmery. It does not say anywhere on the tube or the plastic that came over top of it, whether that it was shimmery or matte or satin. It did not say. So I was kind of disappointed to see that it was a shimmery color. 
the color stays on and it's a great color and the color is cinnamon 80. I thought it was a really nice color and it stayed on the lips for quite a while let's see I want to say probably like I mean it really all day I mean and it's very hard to get off like if you take a, a wipey it's a very hard to get off your lips um I've tried even olive oil and it was really hard to get that off so I would recommend if if you're looking for something that stays on for a long time this is good it does dry your lips a little bit but once you put the uh, the clear gloss over top of the I guess it's like a balm lip balm it's nice and conditioning and it does make your lips feel good so and it dries decently fast and it does not fall on the lines of your lips so I was pleased with this one and I actually bought another one so that's how you know that I must like it since I bought another one and this one is Cerise I don't know how to pronounce that 300 and this one was just kind of like this red like a cherry red color I thought it was pretty maybe a cinnamon red I'm not sure what color what color that is I guess it's like a pinky red pretty I thought I would use that later on maybe in a Marilyn Monroe or something like that look okay in my favorite and I just bought this and I love it I actually have it on right now and it is the let's see what's it called Superstay lip gloss Maybelline I think it's really odd that some of these are so similar color stay lip stay so I get them mixed up this color let's see Ooh, it's tiny is 752 I think it's like cranberry or some kind of berry it's really really pretty it's just this beautiful berry color Let's see if you can see the color it's a very pretty and I really really like this it goes on smooth and if you make a mistake like in the corners or something you can actually wipe it off without it you know permanently staying on your lips so I like that and it stays moisturizing for quite a while before it finally dries so it does take a while to dry and I like that because you can uh, you can actually wipe away your mistakes and you can reapply over top of what you've already applied so if you don't have enough on one spot you can reapply more so I like that and then the this here is like it feels just like a lip balm it feels like a nice conditioning lip balm on your lips so I'm really impressed and I don't feel like you have to reapply the lip balm I think it doesn't dry your lips out like the other ones do and it does keep your lips moisturized for quite a while and this one's the hardest to get off this one will last all day again and it's very hard to get off I actually wore it earlier today and I thought well I'll go ahead and reapply it again just so it'd be a fresh coat and I could not get it off with a wipey I mean I couldn't get half of it off it was so hard to get off so I would recommend this one this one's great remember the Maybelline super stay lip color I really really like this so uh, please rate comment and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks a bunch bye